Good morning, Farmington. Today is Friday, November 20th. My name is Josh Brown, bringing you your morning news. Now, before we get into it, I'd like to share a joke with you guys. In honor of the fast approaching Thanksgiving holiday, what kind of key can't open any doors? A turkey. Anyway, let's get on with the news. Today for lunch, we'll be having hamburger on a bun, ham and cheese croissant, french fries, romaine salad, fruit, fruit juice, milk, and banana pudding cup. The American Red Cross will be hosting a blood drive at Brand New Church on November 30th. The Red Cross is currently at a critical shortage of blood, and they need your help. One unit of blood can save up to three lives. The Red Cross is following all CDC guidelines, and all donations will be tested for COVID-19 antibodies. If you are interested in becoming a first-time donor, please see Mr. Smith in room D208. The 11th annual FCCLA food drive will begin Monday, November 30th through Friday, December 11th. This drive will be a contest among B2 classes with a winning class having a donut party, plus bragging rights. We will be donating the food to the new Farmington School Food Pantry. Collection boxes will be delivered to all B2 classes starting this week. Items needed. Soups, chili, kid-friendly foods, puddings, snack fruit packs, Easy Mac, peanut butter, crackers, boxed potatoes, pastas, canned vegetables. Each can, box, or whole packages of an item are one point. Questions, see Mrs. House. Buy a poinsettia to support the senior class project graduation. For $13 each, you will get a six inch red poinsettia with five to seven blooms in a six inch pot. Orders and money due Monday, November 30th with pickup Wednesday, December 2nd from four to six p.m. Order forms on class of 2021 Google Classroom. 2021 yearbooks are now on sale for $40 until December 31st. You can order online or bring cash or check to room C107. The price will increase to $45 in January, and if you do not pre-order, the cost will be $60 for any co copies that might be available. The yearbook will be better than ever this year, so don't miss out. The yearbook is looking for photo submissions from student body. We want pictures of your quarantine summer, voting or campaigning in this year's election, jobs and hobbies outside of school. You do amazing things when we want photos of all of them to highlight in this year's yearbook. Submit photos at images.jawsons.com using the code on the screen. Photos need to be uploaded by December 15th, 2020. Teachers, if you have any other announcements that you would like added, please contact or email Mr. Dean or fill out the Google form that was sent out via email. Well, that's going to do it for the news today. Up next, we have Ashley in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Have a fantastic Friday and Thanksgiving break, Farmington. And remember, wear your masks. Thanks, Josh. My name is Ashley in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. The Cardinal football team will be back in action tonight as they travel to Pulaski Academy to take on the Bruins in the second round of the playoffs. Earlier this week, our own Lance Williams caught up with senior linebacker Hayden Cox to discuss the Redbirds' preparation for tonight's game. Good morning, Cardinals. I'm Lance Williams in the Card Center with Farm Card Sports, and I'm here with senior linebacker Hayden Cox. Can you tell me what the season has meant to you for as being a senior? I mean, it's meant everything to me, man. I mean, I'm I'm very blessed to be able to do this every day with my guys, and I'm very thankful for that. So, uh, what is what is the difference uh, in practice than being in school with this being the playoffs? Like, how's the atmosphere different? Like in practice, you know, you guys are more head to head. Come on, let's go. It's Pulaski week when while everyone else is in school is man, it's Pulaski week. Oh no. Yeah. So how does that how does that get to you mentally? I mean, I think it's motivated us, and I think that we're more prepared than most people think we're going to be prepared. And I, I kind of like just the atmosphere as a whole, the school, the everything. I just like I like being challenged. Yeah. So uh, how do you look to lead the team tomorrow night? I mean, it's going to be difficult. Don't get me wrong. They're number one in five A for a reason, and I think we just have to. We, we can't get down. We have to keep our head up and make sure that we don't give them the big play. Yep, and our defense linemen and our and our uh, backs on defense have to listen to you. Yeah, because, I mean, true. you're yelling, you're telling everybody what's going on because, you know, you got that kind of voice. So uh, Pulaski is the number one team in the conference. So how is the energy different from playing a powerhouse versus playing a team in Valley View uh, last week? Uh, it's a lot different because, you know, like Valley View, we're obviously focused, but this this is just a different animal. You got to, like, when you play the best, you got to play, you got to practice and play like the best to beat them. 
So I think we're just more motivated to try to get on their level rather than play on Valdez's level, if that makes sense. So I know you're focused on victory this week and throughout the rest of the year, but what are some of your goals when all this is over? Like, what do you plan to do after football? Well, I plan to, well, go back to the gym a lot more because football kind of, it really tries to take you out of it because you're just sore all the time. But I'm just, I'm looking for after season, try to improve my GPA and really just get ready for life as a whole. I mean, I'm probably going to be going to the U of N next year, so just got to get ready, man. Yep. So Pulaski Academy week it is. Tomorrow the Redbirds will be in Little Rock to face Pulaski Academy Bruins, number one team in the conference. Hayden, we thank you for coming in. Uh, any last words you'd like to say? No cards. That's right, beat Bruins. Back to you guys in the news. Thanks, Lance. Both Farmington basketball teams will be back in action on the hardwood of Cardinal Arena Monday night when they face off with the Viola Longhorns. Both the boys and girls team are undefeated to this point in the season, and our own Yuseli Escobar caught up with junior forward Megan Hernandez to discuss the season for the Lady Cardinals so far. Good morning, Farmington. I'm Yuseli Escobar in the Card Center here with junior forward Megan Hernandez. Last season ended with the Lady Cardinals winning the state title, and this season has started off with a good start. Tell me about the fast, uh, the fast start. We well, we have been like having multiple games in the week and it's been back-to-back -back games um, every single week. It's been every Mondays, you know. Our games are just piling up and the season's going up way faster. Everyone knows the names Dillard, Kersey, and Johnson, but now the names of Hernandez and Bree is becoming familiar to everyone. What has, the, what has contributed to your success this season? Our intense practices and like our game mode set every single game day. Um, We've just been working so hard every day, and it's really showing up in our games. What are you looking forward to the most in this season? Um, going on the road, like with the team, you know, away games, playing some tough teams, and it sounds really interesting. And it'd be really fun. As winners, it's almost a routine to be prideful. So, how do you guys stay humble? Just the fact that um, we are a team, it's, it's kind of our family motto, you know, forget about me, I love you. It's, it's about like being a team and family. We're not putting any individual above any other person. So that's why. Thank you, Megan. And now back to you guys at the news. Thanks, you, Sally. Well, that's going to do it for us in the Card Center today. Have a fantastic Friday and Thanksgiving break, Farmington. And remember, wear your masks.